This is a good question. As someone who's seen a lot of SAT things, this is this is really good. It, it looks like it's going to be crazy, but it's not so bad if we just remember the vocabulary. So they're giving us some points here. They're, they're kind of half points because of this K. But the thing that's that draws my attention first is the y-intercept of the line is k minus 5b. Well, that's way less scary than it sounds because every single y-intercept has an x-coordinate of 0. So the b is still the y-intercept. That's what I'm solving for. But the k minus 5, well, that's just equal to the x. That's the 0. So I have a mini equation that I can solve very easily. k minus 5 is 0, therefore k is 5. So suddenly this chart is much more readable, right? These are the points. 5, 13, and 5 plus 7 is 12, so 12, negative 15. At this point, you could use those two uh, points um, to find the slope. I guess that's probably the best way to do it, actually, now that I think about it. So let's just do that. Let's do some traditional stuff here where we find the slope of the line. Remember, slope is um, y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2, rise over run. So the two y's, we're going to do 13 minus negative 15. Put the parentheses if you lose that negative. Um, and then 5 is my k, minus 12 is my um, other point, my other x. So now 13 plus 15, I know I can do that in my head, but it's getting late, and why not enter in the calculator, is 28. And 5 minus 12 is negative 7. So this is a slope of negative 4. So now I'm starting to build my y equals mx plus b equation, OK? I still don't know the b, that's what I'm going to have to solve for. I just found the m is negative 4, so how am I going to solve for the b for the y-intercept? Well, at this point, what I would do is just plug one of the points into the equation, and I would just pick the easier one here. So the x would be 5, and the y is 13, and now I have an equation with just one variable, which means I can solve. So 13 is equal to negative 20 plus b. Let's add 20 to both sides, and we get that 33 is equal to b. And that is the answer. So the reason I like this question is it kind of takes us on a full tour of everything you need to know for lines, right? We have y equals mx plus b, that's kind of our anchor. We're going to use that in a lot of cases because that's the version of a linear equation that is the most understandable, the most informative, and it's composed of two main parts, right? The slope and the y-intercept. They're asking for the y-intercept. And what do we know about every y-intercept? Well, x is equal to zero. How do we find slope? We take two points and we use this formula to subtract them. So we solve that. And then for any linear equation, the other component that we usually forget about is that the x and the y represent all of the points that fall on that line, right? So those are, we can take any point we're given and plug it in for the x and y. And in this case, because I had that k, I kind of had to wait on that last step. But once I had all these other pieces, it was very easy to solve for that y-intercept. So this literally, like I said, took us on a full tour of pretty much all the basic ideas that we know for lines, uh, that we need to know for lines on the SAT. So if all of that made sense, then you're in great shape because a lot of questions in the SAT are just some combination of those three ideas, y-intercept, slope, y equals mx plus b.